Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're gonna jump back with our Kiwi series. So all right, where we left off last time was we created a window. So we've taken everything we've learned, and now what we are going to do is we need to learn about binding. Before we can have something happen or an event, a little bit of foreshadowing, we need to bind this input box to some Python to be able to do an event. So let's just go ahead and get started. So that's what we're learning today. We're learning how to bind in Kiwi. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. So let's just look and see where, where and how we bind. So this is going to be in, because we're gonna do stuff in our uh, Python script and in our Kiwi file. And the tool that we use at the, at the onslaught to bind is inside the kiwi.properties module and the object property object. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. That's why it is so very, very important that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Properties import. Object. Okay, cool. I can concentrate now. So, all right. This is how simple it is. We're going to create a object, a object property, and we're gonna we we're gonna use user and bring in object property. Then we're gonna bring in password. object property so all right so this is all so far that we need in our Python file now this can get a little confusing quickly so we need to we'll, we'll go very very slow so all right this is the first start of how you link the two of these together And then password and then all right so I want to show I'm, we're gonna we're gonna work our way backwards user user password password so all right we've now linked or bound from our Python to our Kiwi. Now, now we actually then need to show in our Kiwi file where these are gonna link. So all right, this is our text input right here, right? One, two, three, four. And this is for our username. And we called it the user box. So ID user box. Now let's rinse and repeat. So all right, here's our text input, one, two, three, four, ID and pass box. So now pass box, pass box, password, password, okay? And then we have our user box, user box, user, user. So now we have everything bound together. So when we want to do event handling next time inside our Python file, because that's where, that's where all the stuff happens, because we're gonna learn about an event, maybe on press or something, maybe return, or we need to have on click and return, however we want to handle it. This is now they are bound forever <laughs> until we delete them. So uh, real quick video today. This is why it is so important to hit that 
subscribe button, and the notification bell. And if these are the type of videos you're liking, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. And please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests below, and I will knock them out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.